Welcome to episode number two of The Bullshit Show. We'll see. Technically, I ain't going to be calling it The Bullshit Show anymore because too, too much shit on YouTube. We type in, you know, I want my thing to come up first. So I think I'm going to change it to The Deed Show. But I don't know. Maybe if you guys give me some ideas. The Deed Show, it sounds okay. But uh, if you guys give me, uh, maybe you guys give me some ideas. I don't know. Well, um, I want to say hello to my Twitter followers, my Facebook friends, you know. One day, maybe the world. And um, I know you guys are probably wondering, like, man, where do I come up with these ideas for my show? Or pretty much, I kind of just go to my DVD collection, you know, and you just pick a movie. And I'm like, okay, maybe I commentate on this movie. And then, okay, I put my first video up, and then some of you guys liked it. You know, I'm sure not everybody's going to like it. And then somebody, somebody said, you shouldn't swear, swear no more. You know how I feel like to that comment? Nigga, this is my video. You and my damn mama tell me what to do. But yeah, you know, wait, freedom of speech, right? Freedom of, like, the first, second, some one of those amendments, you know what I mean. But, um, yeah, for uh, today's episode, I have watched Bugs uh, and Hairspray. If you have, if you watch the movies, good for you. If you haven't, nobody gives a fuck. Well, for my first movie that I watched, it was uh, called Bugs, and not a Bugs Life for all you dumbasses out there saying, he must mean bugs, a Bugs Life. No, you dumbass, I know what movie I meant. It's some low budget film that was made in like 2003 or something. I don't, I don't know. It was dumb. I don't even know why it was a movie, but whatever. Uh, I wish I had a DVD case for you guys so you guys could see the case or whatever. This is pretty much the dumbest movie in the history of fucking movies. Time, picture the dumbest movie you have ever watched and times it by 10. Yes, it was that bad. I literally watched the movie like this. Like, I think I fell asleep a couple of times. I had to like take a five hour energy just to finish the whole movie and it was only like two hours long. I, um, have you seen the episode of Spongebob when they're trying to stop Man Ray and he turns it over confusion? That's exactly how I fucking look. I am not even joking you. Well pretty much the movie was about two white people who were on cocaine or heroin, I don't know, some type of drug, but these two people were masked up. I mean he was so messed up to the point where he thought bugs were eat, eating him. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. And, and then he convinced Shorty that bugs were eating her too. Like, what? No, dude. No, boy. That's, no bugs eating you. So I guess he would hear things like helicopters and stuff. And he'd start going crazy. Whatever. And then, actually, he killed somebody. And blood was coming out. And Shorty was like, why'd you kill him? He was like, it was a r robot. Like, What? What are you smoking? The only thing that I actually got from this movie is Say No to Drugs. They should use this in one of those Say No to Drugs campaign. I'm sure it will keep them kids off these drugs. They could have actually used this movie. Instead of using the money to make a movie, they could have fed kids in Africa. I don't know. Put money to cancer or something. Does not make this dumbass movie. Like, this is a waste of money. Like, they need to stop making dumb movies, period. Well, so for my second movie I watched, Hairspray, the newer one, came out in 07. But yeah, anyways, besides the fact, let me start with, they had John Travolta own to be gangsta ass playing the mom, right? I mean, he was playing this big bitch. I'm like, God damn. And then her ass looked like Miss Doubtfar 2.0 double XL. And then what kill me, they had him dancing in that big ass suit. Like, come on, man. When the hell do big people dance, dance start dancing like that? Big people do two things. Actually, three things. They sit, stand, and eat in between. And then, they had this bitter-ass old lady, right? Looking like Skeletor's cousin and shit. I mean, it looks like she eats one race in a day. And then that Botox looked like if she missed an appointment, her face was gonna melt off and shit. So she was talking rude as hell to the black people. Let this be let this be real life. She really got her shit knocked in. Probably got her shit Bruce Lee kicked to the face. Now picture that. Getting Bruce Lee kicked to the face. Like how salty would you feel? So back to this bitter rich, right? There's a scene where she's trying to have sex with dad, right? So she goes to the store planning on breaking him up with John Tavosa's character, the mom, because she don't like the main character. But whatever. So what blew me was she's flirting with him and stuff, and this man has no idea. Come on, if that was real life, I would have tore her shit up. You got your wife is big as hell, 
and then you got the skinny hot bitch trying to flirt with you. Ten out of ten times, I'm going with the skinny bitch. Like, let's be real. Well, I think my favorite part of, mo of the movie was how they kept it real with the black people dancing. I mean, they was doing some shit you've never seen. It was like the stanky leg, the Dougie times like two. It, it looked like they made a miniature version of Breaking. <sighs> I'm like thinking, what did the director say? Okay, this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna give the white people the nonchalant, easy dance moves. Then we're gonna give the black people all the hard moves. Cause Lord knows, white people have no type of rhythm. But shit, I have no room to talk. I'm half black, half Puerto Rican, and my dad was a dancer, and I got two left feet. I nearly came into the cha-cha slide without getting out of the rhythm. So lastly, there's a scene in the movie where all the black people are marching and they're chanting some weak shit now. Just imagine if they were chanting this. Just imagine how cool it would sound. Well, that's the end of this video. Let um, me give a shout out to my brother, Cynthia, Trey, my click, um, shit, uh, Bethy, Ashley, um, well, if I miss anybody, my bad, I got your next one. So I guess, leave comments, I guess, tell me if you like it, if it sucked, it sucked, whatever, just tell me, tell me how you feel, I can take criticism.